Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again and today I want to talk about the most fun build I've used with any of the 3.0 subclass updates and it leans into the Titan melee ability so heavy and I've been absolutely loving it. It all starts with a point contact cannon brace which is a mouthful and has finally been reactivated in Desi 2 thankfully and I am so excited to show this off. Really, that's all there is to it. You just use Thunderclap and go to town, but I'll explain everything here in a second. But first, I want to talk about Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. That is September, so all September long, I'm going to keep my Guardian Gold, as should you if you play Destiny, throw on the gold shaders and support the cause, raise awareness, all that kind of good stuff. A lot of people in the community are doing it, and I highly recommend you do so too. Anyway, jumping into the build itself. Now, Point Contact... Can embrace if you didn't know defeating targets with your thunderclap melee it restores melee energy targets near you when you use your thunderclap suffer lightning strikes being amplified increases the range of those lightning strikes so this synergizes really really well in a lot of different ways i was running fist of havoc the reason being thunder crash without curious is not all that good so i was just using fist of havoc although i wasn't using my super as much as i probably could have I'm using Thruster because it's a lot of fun and I just enjoy it. Then we've got Thunderclap, obviously the key to this whole build. It is an absolute blast to use, especially when you charge it up to its max potential. I was personally using Pulse Grenade. Now, I did swap around my aspects through some of the gameplay. So at the end, you're going to see uh, some of it with Touch of Thunder. So the Pulse Grenade will create Ionic Traces and... Uh, that will increase my ability regeneration. Although I was running the Juggernaut for a while. I just don't know if Juggernaut was doing well enough for me personally to really enjoy it. It does help you stay alive a bit more, which is really, really nice. But at the same time, you have to be sprinting all the time. And then when you use your melee, you slow down and, and use it. So that's why I wasn't sure if that was as necessary as Pulse Grenade so I can get those Ionic Traces. Knockout is obviously huge, critically wounding the target or breaking the shield and fuses your melee with arc energy. So, even when you don't have your thunder clap up, you can actually use your regular melee to use an arc melee. You get yourself amplified, all that kind of stuff. And that's really the key. So, you're going to try to be amplified at all times. So, if you don't have your thunder clap up, definitely melee an enemy if at all possible. Spark of resistance, feedback, recharge. And beacons, those are the fragments that I went with. And the reason being, staying alive, using my melee ability, juicing up my arc weapon if I don't, or if I'm amplified as well. So that works out really, really well. Weapons, these don't really matter aside from wanting to use a special arc weapon in this slot. Doesn't matter what it is, but that's really where this build is going to come in handy. And then for me personally, I was rocking Tractor Cannon because I love seeing those big damage numbers. I like taking down big enemies. I ran 100k Nightfall with this build without using Champion Mods, just by using the Tractor Cannon and using the Thunderclap Melee. And it allowed me to take down the champions really quickly without having to worry about them regenerating health or anything like that. So something to keep in mind, and it's a lot of fun, but that's why I was running it. Now, you're going to be in the thick of it a lot, so make sure you pay attention to your health because that's something that you definitely got to watch out for. As far as my mods, I was running uh, Melee Wellmaker. So you generate wells every time you use a melee, whether it's your Thunderclap or otherwise, which is nice. Then we've got the Double Melee Kickstarter and Elemental Light. We got Fontamite and the damage resists there. We've got Absolution and Well of Striking. If you didn't know Well of Striking, uh, just grants you additional melee energy while picking up arc uh, elemental wells, which is really nice. And then we've got distribution, we got outreach, and then well of ions. Picking up an arc elemental well causes your next melee to deal increased damage. So basically, you want to juice yourself up at all possible. So you're going to try to generate wells and then use your tractor cannon, use your melee. Nice little loop there that I really, really enjoy. Overall, this build can be used across all kinds of content, and that's what I love to do personally, it's not going to be the most broken build. You could probably do more damage in a single hit with a different exotic armor. However, for me, I want to use this ability early, often, all the time. And so this point contact cannon brace allows you to do that. Get your melee back very, very quickly and 
continue to dish out a bunch of damage plus not only deal damage to one target but to a bunch of targets all at once which i also like so you can clear ads and really just use your art grenade use your melee have a nice little loop there which i very much enjoy so this is a build that I would highly recommend a lot of people checking out if you have not already. Try out this exotic. Make sure that you're trying to use your melee on cooldown if at all possible. You're gonna whiff sometimes. I've done it. Everyone's gonna do it. However, you get your melee back so fast it doesn't really matter, especially if you have other melee generating options that you can use in conjunction. Another thing to remember with this build while you are doing big chunks of damage to single targets, you are also able to spread those lightning strikes to additional enemies as well. So if you have a big target surrounded by a bunch of little enemies, that was where this actually shines really, really well. Because you'll see, you'll get the melee off for some nice chunk damage, and then you'll be able to also see the lightning strikes around you as well, which is awesome. And, and it's a lot of fun. Now... One thing to keep in mind, you're going to want max resilience with this build because you don't have something like classic restoration that's going to keep you alive. That's the only reason I might suggest running Juggernaut if you want to just because it might help you stay alive if at all possible. But remember, the melee is going to start your health regeneration. So you want to be meleeing enemies all the time and that is going to allow you to constantly be regenerating your health now in something like the light fall uh, light blade nightfall the hard part is there's a lot of curse thralls and enemies that blow up so you don't want to melee them as much and that makes it a little bit of a challenge however you can use your thunder clap in order to take them down from a distance which is nice now overall this is a build that i am excited to kind of tweak as the time goes on because i like I said, I have a good blood feud with Grave Robber and Frenzy that I've been using. And the right hook seasonal perk works perfectly in conjunction with this build. So if you didn't know the origin trait, dealing melee damage gives this weapon increased target acquisition and range for a short amount of time. And dealing melee damage again extends it. So basically, it's a nice little loop there when you use it. And you can really buff your perks on your blood feud. So that's why if you have the shotgun, for example, from this season, that is another very good option for you to run if you want to run that and then maybe something else in your uh, secondary arc slot. So there's a lot of different opportunities to mix and match your weapons with this build because they're it's not really reliant on the weapons necessarily. So depending on your activity, you could throw on something that's going to do more boss DPS. You could throw on something like Storm Chaser with Font of Might is going to come in really handy because you are generating those wells pretty consistently. You could throw on something like Thunderlord if you want to, although you don't really need any additional ad clear. You could really kind of change up. You could throw Nezrox Whisper the Glaive on as well. There's just so many potential opportunities with to mix and match your weapons with this build i just pick the ones that i have the most fun with that's why i'm close range in your face smg fusion rifle smg shotgun if i want to in order to do as much damage as possible from close range and never have to leave combat anyway that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the build if you did Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. Shows you want to see more content of this nature. I throw out Destiny videos pretty much every day. And you're going to see much, much more from me. Because I have a ton of fun builds in mind this season. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Jopa. Have a good one. And I'll catch you all later.